Hello and welcome to episode one in the brand new series of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. And welcome to Project Globe Explorer, my biggest and most ambitious Planet Coaster park so far. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys through various different episodes in this series. As always, it's going to be interactive. You guys are going to get to decide on the different rides, themed areas, shows, operations and names for the different attractions in this park and I'm looking forward to sharing various different episodes in this exciting new series with you all. Now Project Globe Explorer, what does it exactly mean? Now I've been teasing for quite a while that I've wanted to build a World's Fair style park and this is very similar to the likes of Epcot at Walt Disney World um, where you go through various different themed areas all based around different countries. That's exactly what I'm going for with this, however there's going to be a lot lot more rides and attractions involved in it um, it's not just gonna look like Epcot you know there's gonna be a lot of different attractions some big coasters and thrill rides of course something what Epcot doesn't have at Walt Disney World along with some very different countries as well yes there'll be some that are the same but there's gonna be a lot of different ones and uh, a lot that I've visited as well that I look forward to putting into this and it is certainly very exciting it's gonna be so much more than just a theme park it's gonna be a full resort and that's what this episode is all about it's starting the infrastructure to this massive project and you might be thinking already um, you know wow like the size of this honestly it is gonna be huge um, as huge as my computer can handle it anyway we'll see um, I have had a few computer upgrades so hopefully we're not gonna struggle as much now um, with the FPS as I move forward with it um, but we'll see what happens um, but yes here we go so it is gonna be a huge project in terms of the theme park itself there's gonna be like a downtown Disney like resort style area with shops restaurants um, an entrance portal of course to the park um, with all your different ticket kiosks some really nice gardens uh, leading onto that entrance street and along with that as well there's gonna be various different hotels car parks drop-off points I'm literally thinking of everything with this and that's why I'm starting off with the basics in this episode uh, in terms of putting in the infrastructure to this uh, like I say it's gonna be a huge project that's gonna span way into winter 2019 um, I know we're still in the season at the moment it's the middle of September um, but you know this is going to span into winter and probably into the new year it's going to be a big project this one that I can't wait uh, to get stuck in with uh, but yeah starting off then with what I'm doing just here uh, and that is working on the car parks and road infrastructure you can see I'm just putting a roundabout in there um, and just putting this all together all the footage you're going to see today has been sped up uh, that isn't going to be the case with all the episodes um, but just when I'm doing a lot of repetitive stuff uh, I will speed it up of course so we can get through it a lot quicker and I'll talk over it and explain exactly what I'm doing uh, throughout as well I'll be giving you some hints and tips for if you do play Planet Coaster however I'm not an expert myself um, yeah there's still a lot of things what you guys have taught me about the game throughout uh, to try and make my life easier and uh, like little life hacks so to speak you know what you can do to make the game easier um, you know and, and place pro objects and buildings and that sort of thing. Um, so as always, uh, I appreciate any feedback and I look forward to reading each and every one of your comments on this video, uh, just like I do all the other videos here on Theme Park Worldwide. So you can see I've started there to put in some of the road and car park infrastructure. May not make a lot of sense what I'm doing at the moment, um, but that we should do over the next few minutes as you start to see more of this going in. So what I'm starting to do here is put in some of the waterways uh, that will make up this park. Water is going to be a huge part of Project Globe Explorer. Um, you know, there's going to be a massive lake in the middle of this park. You're going to have all these different waterways that lead out of the park, around to the hotels and uh, various different entertainment venues that will make this up. Uh, like I say, with this, I wanted to go in there and really focus on it being this resort with lots of different things going on instead of it just being about the park itself that is the difference you're going to see with this and um, there's going to be a lot of focus on hotels and making the hotel area look amazing in fact all this area now where the water is none of that is actually theme park land that is all going to be for the various different hotels i plan on putting like a water system with the boats running down there connecting hotels all the different footpaths and scenery items gardens a lot of landscaping rocks of course got to get that hashtag rock working i'm really excited talking about this because i've wanted to do 
something like this for a very, very long time. In fact, way before Planet Coaster even existed, I wanted to do like a full resort in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And I did start to do it, but because of the laggers that you get in the game, and anybody who's played RCT2 will know all about that, um, basically you have to be very careful when you're placing attractions and paths because you do end up getting laggers in the game and this can bring your part rating down and cause vandalism and that's the beauty of Planet Coaster it got rid of that um, something that you know with RCT I really struggled with especially when I wanted to go and build like a mega resort I actually tried to build two parks um, in, in like one scenario you know in, in RCT and it just didn't work I'm not going to do two parts with this one. I was thinking of that initially, uh, but because I've already done a studio style park, I thought, no, I'm going to focus on one park. Um, the park itself may not actually be the biggest itself for what I've done. Um, the park, you know, it, it's going to be a, probably the same sort of size as Volcano Springs, maybe a little bit smaller than that. However, there's going to be a lot more attractions packed in, a lot more rides. Um, but it's going to be about the, the big scale of this. You know, it will be the biggest project I've done because of everything else. You can see here, this is going to be a hub area uh, from the car parks. Uh, I'm going to build back of house staff training areas, um, maintenance work shops the lot that is the plan i'm gonna go to town on building it all a distribution center you know let's really go to town with this project and take it to the next level um, because frontier uh, that developed the game you know they've designed it with all this in mind you know like staff uh, like rotors and all that sort of stuff um i've never really gone much into the operations either um in previous series yes i did a little bit more um with my indoor park but with this one i'm really going to go into the operation as well and um uh, and, and get people in here and really go into like staff training and this is the part that I'm going to sort of use in the future to do some different things with especially around Christmas uh, I would normally say Halloween but because of the time period of this the park I doubt we're going to have people in here before actual Halloween in real life you know um, which is the end of next month so you know the plan is probably to skip on Halloween for this part this year but Christmas uh, is the goal by Christmas real time 2019 I want to have people in the park decorations up and really going to town and i want you guys to all of course get involved in the comments keep suggestions coming in let's make this the most interactive series ever on theme park worldwide i love playing planet coaster you love watching it so let's really go to town and make this the best series uh, on this channel because of course there's a lot more to come from frontier planet zoo is going to be coming out later this year and I, I am thinking of doing a little series on it maybe just a small series maybe a five parter or something like that again let me know your thoughts down below in the video comments is that something you'd be interested in seeing me play um of course you know it's going to be very similar design to planet coaster but there's going to be even more detail it seems you know so is it something you want to see me play of course you know zoos aren't directly the thing what we focus on on this channel we have filmed at safari parks and things before um, but you know, would would you be interested in seeing Planet Zoo or is it just Planet Coaster that you're interested in? Um, let me know down below as always, I'm interested in your feedback. So what I'm doing now then is just again working on like the, the infrastructure side to it and you're not really going to see any rides other than two transportation rides, a little hint for you, uh, getting installed in this episode. Um, but yeah, like one's going to be a lot bigger than the other initially and then the second one, you'll uh, that was going to be developed on as I build the areas. So you can probably guess what them two are, uh, but you'll see them in a few minutes when I start to put them in. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking about all around the outside of the park there, making sure that, um, you know, the back boundaries are well set up. That there will be the boundary of the theme park. Of course, it doesn't have to be exactly there, but I just want to set a bit of a boundary so I know what's happening. You can see I've put a little car park in down at the uh, close to the entrance area of this park. Um, that is actually going to be the disabled parking. Um, I'm thinking of it all. You're going to have a little slip off road there that leads back onto the main road. And then you've got your main infrastructure road that runs round to the back car parks as well. I've said infrastructure a lot, haven't I, so far in the past uh, nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll try not to uh, too much for the rest of the episode. Um, but yeah, you see what I've done. So instead of using the full map in Planet Coaster for the park, you can see where I've marked out the space now where the actual park is going to be. Uh, and that's sort of in the top right corner, so to speak. I mean, it's a big corner, but um, you can see it there. You know, all the area, what's the other side of the mound, will be the park itself. Uh, the area where the paths are going in now, this will be part of hotels and mostly uh, part
part of like my downtown Disney, you know, Universal City Walk style area with some restaurants. And uh, in the next episode, you'll start to see that developing because I'm not just going to wait for that to, until I've started putting in the rest of the areas. As I'm building the entrance to this park and the first themed area, um, then yeah, that's going to all be part of it because you're actually going to go out onto this island um, area and that will actually be the first country and the first part of this experience and you'll get to see more of that in the next episode when I start putting that in. Um, but anyway, wow, that's, that 10 minutes has gone really, really quick giving you an introduction to the series. Um, but yes, welcome. It's great to be back with another episode of Planet Coaster and a brand new series. So I'll put in a bit of music for you over the next couple of minutes and uh, yeah, enjoy me putting in some more of the infrastructure, or I had to say it again, um, here for Project Globe Explorer. Please stand clear of the doors whilst you're on board the monorail. Yes, so here we go. The first ride to be installed here at the resort. And this will be a transportation ride that takes you from the car parks down to the entrance of the theme park. Uh, there's going to be no stations inside the actual park itself. Uh, it's going to be very similar to the likes of the Alton Towers monorail. Uh, how it sort of builds up the anticipation um, before you actually get to the park itself. So you'll board the monorail. It'll take you through a couple of the different themed areas and then drop you off at the entrance area. Area. Um, so yeah, then it'll sort of come back from the station and it'll go through and next to some of the various hotels that I'm going to be building here as well. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. I mean, you can see the turnaround section there. You can already start to get an idea now on how the entrance is going to look. Sort of, you know, towards the middle of the map. Um, and this will be the first themed area. As soon as you get off that monorail, you're into the first theme world. That'll all be part of that island that you can see there in the middle. Uh, and no, it's not going to be island before anybody says. Um, you know, oh, it's an island. It's got to be island. Not necessarily. Think of somewhere else that's also an island. Um, so here we go. I think I've given it away now. Um, but yes, the monorail here, you can see the parts of track that I'm putting in are sort of taking you back towards the car parks, uh, but it will go through some of the hotels. And you got to think this layout is going to change. In fact, you'll see I start to change it a little bit later in this episode towards the end. Um, it's not 100% set in stone. The uh, track doesn't have to stay exactly there. Um, you know, I can change little bits if I want to, uh, just to fit around certain things. And if I think when the buildings go in, oh, it would have been great if the monorail track wasn't there. I can easily move it you know it's not like uh, we're actually in a real theme park where obviously that wouldn't be an option um, but yeah you can like you can see there I, I, I imagine if that actually happened you know if it was at a theme park you know and the managers think oh we want to get rid of a few bits of track and it just disappears um, it'd be a bit scary wouldn't it um, but yeah you can see there I'm just making it round back to the loop you can see there the little building what's in that's actually the guest generator point so that's where guests are going to be generated um, in the game so they're going to come out there 
Of course, not everyone's going to want to go on the monorail, so there's the option to walk down the path as well, um, and that'll take you through like the sort of Disney Village uh, style area, uh, that City Walk, you know, with the different shops, and there'll be some functioning shops and restaurants there, facilities like your first day, guest services, toilets, of course, a cash machine. You know, I have all that sort of as part of this area as well. As soon as you step off the monorail, of course, you'll be uh, straight off to the entrance as well, and you can either get the monorail back or walk. So there we go. Here's a few nice cinematic shots of our beautiful new streamlined monorail in action there. I love the design of the monorail in Planet Coaster. It looks great. Of course, you can customize it as well, all the different colors on there. It just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And that's the great thing about this game. You can really customize so much. And I'm going to be making the use of that a lot more um, with this series, as you're going to see throughout it. Um, you know, by implementing a few more things for some screens and billboards and that sort of stuff, which I have done before, but I've not done it on a regular basis. Whereas with this park, I'm going to need it to display like the different flags, for example. Oh, there we are. That's nice, isn't it? In the uh, in the control area at the front there, um, you can see the operators panel. That's the great thing about this game. You know, a few years on since it was released, and it still amazes me uh, all the details. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm really excited to sort of see this all start to come together. Please stand clear of the doors there we go uh, as you're watching this actually i'm packing to go out to florida at the moment me and charlotte are going over there for our big trip um so yeah i'll be back on one of my favorite monorails if not my favorite um that is the walt disney world resort monorail system that i absolutely love um out there so yeah lots of vlogs to come um now you're all probably sitting there thinking how regular are these episodes going to be because sean you've not been very consistent with the last series especially um so when are they going to be released so i said that i'd be putting a new series on in, as the planet coaster when i feel like i'll be able to commit to it a lot more obviously over the past few months i've been out there you know i haven't been wanting to sit inside it's been gorgeous weather i've been traveling going to different theme parks around the world um so of course i've not wanted to be inside now we're sort of coming towards the end of the season already i know it's gone quick this year um so yeah that's what the plan is the, there's going to be episodes every week um for the foreseeable future um, I'm not going to set a day um, for the episodes. However, there will be an episode posted at least every seven days. You know, it is going to be a regular thing. So I look forward to uh, keeping you guys up to date uh, on the different episodes. But yeah, it means that, you know, a bit of excitement when we upload every day thinking, oh, is Planet Coaster coming today? Or, um, you know, some weeks, fair enough, it might be on the same day as it was the previous week. But there's not going to be a set day. And another reason for me doing that is because of sometimes, especially over Halloween, we might visit somewhere and I think, oh, you know, I've got it all edited. I want to get it straight online. Uh, but, oh, it's a Planet Coast today. It's going to have to wait another day. Um, that's the good thing about not committing a day for this. If there's something else what sort of takes priority that I want to get on quicker, uh, then I can do. And, and, of course, you guys can see that. So uh, there will be at least one episode a week. Uh, and I am going to be sticking with that this time. Um, you know, I'm not, I've not been very consistent before with some things with Planet Coaster. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, we're coming up towards the winter season and this project is here to stay it's globe explorer and yes welcome to it uh, we're coming to the end of the first episode and there's that second transportation ride which is a train and um, you had a little preview of that a minute ago when i was messing about with it on the path but yes the train is going to span all around the theme park and that'll be one of a few different transportation rides in this park um, but yes it's very exciting welcome honestly it's uh, it's really nice to be back with this series i know a lot of you out there love planet coaster in fact i know for a fact there's people out there that just watch the planet coaster content here of the channel of course i recommend all our other videos um you know it's well worth checking them out um but of course with planet coaster it's a great series and it's good to be back and yeah this part's going to be very detailed very heavily themed it's probably going to ruin my computer <laughs> and anybody else's when they try to open it uh, but here we go let's try our best and welcome to project globe explorer I'm Sean Sandbrook, this has been episode one, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster. That means it's time to cue those credits. See you next week.